The enumerate function is a built-in function that is mostly used when looping through an interval with a for loop. It's really useful when looping through a list, for example, because you can use it to get the index of the current element, or you can even use it to number the elements of a list when printing them. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use it properly. So, the enumerate function takes an iterable as argument, which could be a list, a tuple, for example, and returns an enumerate object. The enumerate object contains as many tuples as the elements in that iterable, and the tuple is made up of the number of the count, which starts from 0 by default, and the element. So the first element is 0 and the element, then the second element is 1 and the element, and so on and so forth. Let's actually see an example to see what I mean. Okay, so I've got my list, item 1, item 2, item item 3 so then if I print my the numerate the list the numerate object I basically get the enumerate object okay I don't get the numbers you know the the tuples but if I convert it to a list before with the list constructor, like that, basically here I'm converting the enumerate object to a list and then I'm printing the list. Then if I run that, we can see the representation. So a tuple, zero item one, the second tuple, one item two, and two item three, okay? If you want the count, so this count 0, 1, 2, to start from another number other than 0, you need to pass the start argument. So you can do something like, let's actually duplicate that, my list, then start equal 1, for example. And if you can see 1, 2, 3, or maybe you can say 10, and then get 10, 11, 12. Okay, so the starting point for the counter. Okay, so where is the enumerate function useful? Of course, in a for loop, when you want to have the counter to maybe show it before the element, like one, item two, one, two, item two, etc. Or if you want to have the index of the current element to do something with it. Okay, so let's actually comment all of this out. So you can enumerate object is equal to enumerate my list start one start equal one okay then you can do something like for item in enumerate object print a string item zero of course because enumerate the enumerate object is made up of tuples so i'm getting the first element of the tuple, then the second element, the tuple, okay. So if you print that, you can see one, two, three, item one, two, three. So this is quite useful. Of course, you could use the enumerate. This one, you could use it here instead of having two lines. So you can comment this out and just use that one and it returns the same thing, okay? And of course, here, having the tuple, you can use tuple unpacking, also called multiple assignment, okay? So you can do something like, actually, let's copy that and do that, okay? Here you can do something like count item. You can just use the variable here. So this returns the same thing, as you can see. Okay, so in this case, we've used it only to get a number to show. Okay, but if you start from zero, you get the index of the current item. Okay, because as the indexes start from zero, you've got the first item is zero, the second item is one, two, etc. Okay, so if you want to use the index for some reason, 
you can do something like instead of count you can say index then start from zero so you don't write anything and then here instead of printing you can do something like if item is equal to item one for example you can do something like my list then the index equal new item okay so basically here you're looping through the the list okay you're getting the item and you're getting the index of that specific item okay each iteration you've got a new index the new index and a new item then if the item is equal to item one in this case of course you can do other things i'm just doing that to show you okay and then you can use my my list index which is the index of the current item okay and you can change it okay in this case we should see the first item of the list changed okay so let's actually print down here a list my list and let's see as you can see new item item 2 item 3 okay so this is how you can use the enumerate function to actually get the index of the current item and use it okay so if you're still watching i know you will enjoy the video you see now on the screen so go and check it out right now